we end up with a zany crew of girls to match. Maybe we don't. We're going to have balls out, get fucked up, and have a great time. Awesome night. Lonnie goes out with one other... Buddy. He invites one guy. One guy who has Who's a table. Man? Who has a table, and they pack like ten chicks. Man, and Lonnie's man, like, man, 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 the table, right. like, being oh, that guy. Let's yeah. give a shout out to that. He doesn't man. want a lot of guys around. Because he, he doesn't want guys around cool. to like, because his ego is, go ahead, you know. Yeah, like he doesn't like my friends really, because they're all like confident and tall and good looking and funny and like, Lonnie has to like lure it over them because he has like the success in the businesses. And my friends don't give a rat's ass. They bartend, they mm -hmm. live week to week, they crush hot fucking chicks and... They don't they have, have any crush. ego. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, like Lonnie, like his whole He's persona, he basically. like his whole he social life is centered around the restaurants. Like yeah, when right. I'm off, I like to go do something that has nothing to do with the restaurants. Lonnie, when he's off, he brings girls on dates to our restaurants because he's Jewish and cheap, and he like has to be the man. Oh, okay, so look, at me, me, look at me, I'm. Being that I'm Jewish. You know what I mean? Like, look at me, I'm. This is mine, and his, his like cheap, best nights are when. The restaurants are busy and it's girls smart. are coming out. Hey, Lonnie, like kissing him at the host stand. He's and like he's smart. like that guy, you know what I mean? They are very smart. Yeah. My uh, favorite joke with Lonnie is this. Whenever I see him and he's with a girl and he's a little nervous and he's like leaving to go somewhere, I go, Hey, Lonnie, I want this place cleaned up by 8 a.m. or I'm not like, and, like, it gets him really nervous because like I'm joking around that like mm -hmm. I'm the small investor but I'm bossing him around and he's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he checks out. <laughs> I really like Lonnie though. That's because if he looked at the cast him. of Big Brother, he would look at Janelle and be like, "Oh, that's the one." You know what I mean? But then she'd have him broken down in two seconds, and he wouldn't like that, right? Yes, yeah. definitely. So he needs to be the the dominant. He likes the girls who look like Janelle but are stupid. So he can dominate them. Exactly. Because the like, well, weird thing is that like he only goes on one date with. Yeah, her. he goes on one date. Why? Once he bangs, it's over. Completely over because it's a it, ego it's trip. Like a ego trip. I was I love Lonnie. I think he's cool as hell. That's because I don't have to work with him, That's and fine. I was smart enough to. Know I might not either. I have to, I to <laughs> Um But yeah, he's just very um, like he he doesn't really drink, but he'll do crazy things. Like he'll fuck two girls in one night, like in the office on the desk, or he'll throw a hundred thousand dollars on crap. So table. he's a person you look at, and you're really going to be talking about. Him on the internet? Oh, you'd be proud of it. Oh, you don't right. understand. You do not understand. So he's a we have twice on two different occasions. Remember he banged the mom and the daughter? Yeah. Okay, so he's uh, one of those people. Works? Yeah. He's one of those guys. <laughs> <with> the <girl> <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, he's an undercover freak. Oh, he's over the cover. He's over the cover. He'll be licking a girl's breasts. Oh. He'll be licking one. Like, breasts. for instance, tell it. Krista became friends with Les Moonves' former assistant, who was like a 40 year old. We ever have a conversation? 40 year old Cougar. He's a gorilla. He's just a big vanilla He's a gorilla. gorilla. Lonnie. He's a big dumb beast, folks. Okay, Les Moonves' former assistant was like this 40 year old Cougar. She had an 18 year old daughter. Lonnie fucked both of them on back to back nights because this Krista, after our show, started hanging out with them. She stayed there for a while, actually. I moved her in there. And, uh,. Lonnie ended up fucking the mom and the daughter. <laughs> what? Yeah, like he's crazy. I have such a boring life compared to you. You could come out for a week. I got an extra bedroom. You and your husband come stay out. <laughs> My husband be like, you go to you go. You ain't going nowhere, baby. You staying right? <laughs> but yeah, if he comes, you guys let him come. I'm sure he'll come and have a good time. Like, oh, so maybe I should invite all my girlfriends to the rat party. Exactly. Then they can't come with the income for the after party. Not the rat. Forget the, the rat party. The after party. For, don't after yes, the rat party. Yes. Right. There is no the rat party. The rat party, no. I don't know. But the after party. Yeah. For sure. For Bring sure. a few out. For sure. For sure. Is that question you have that? No, I'm actually intrigued by it. It looks oh. like a spiky caterpillar. Hey, should I bandage that before I go to bed? look at it again? Or should I just leave I, that? I'm open? very impressed with his work. He did a really good job. Nice. Should I put a bandage over that before I go to bed? How do you run that? Hold on one second. I can't really see it. No, leave it alone. I don't care. It's fine. What the fuck's wrong with your toenails, dude? They're all funky. Um, well, because I... 
can't really shower too well, and it's, it's okay. cut up. Let me think. Let me try to think. The other one's from Kickball. Yeah, I'm shocked he did that kind of suturing there because it's like really cosmetically excellent for an area that I could, you know. Did it take him a long time? Better all stars, baby. But it took him like a good, like long time to do that. Twenty minutes. Yeah. Like, I could have stitched it up in, like, three, but it would have been just an ugly scar. But he, he did a beautiful some, job. Put some little care into it. Big time. You Dr. Should, H. You're going to put bandage that up because you're not supposed to air it out until tomorrow, right? It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's healing beautifully. Okay. I'm totally comfortable leaving it. Hmm. Hmm. Are you still a little numb? Yeah, the bottom of my toe is a little numb. Nerve damage. That's normal, right? That'll regenerate, right? You probably, you made a cut, cut, uh subcutaneous nerves like superficial nerves and but they may come back it probably right. will but you didn't cut a major nerve by any means mm -hmm. um but the you also it may be that it's numb just because you're not moving it and it's really tight because of that skin he had to evert it so, oh. you, it so you probably have tightness in that oh, you feel why. tightness kind of it just feels like I, top I, of the it's like dead yeah. you know it'll be fine it'll be fine it come back it doesn't need to be amputated it's fine just from here i on. love the doctor humor he's like well you got nine other ones <laughs> shows me we're a nerdy group <laughs> He's hot. I love Dr. H. How old do you think he is? I have a doctor crush on him. 55? Yeah. I remember when... Um, He's cool. Season three. He's cool. cool. Love him. Season three, when we went to the exam, he was watching the Osborns. He was so enamored with that show. While he was examining you? Yeah, he was like this. Well, that's a great... <laughs> and I'm like, make it over there! Make it over there! <laughs> wow, that's weird. It was funny. I remember that. I wish we had more wine. I Me wish we too. Had. Me too. I wish I had more salsa. Oh, we do. That's right. We got some. Mm, I wish I had more like, Cremora tomato soup. I need a pedicure like crazy, and I'm not Marcellus. It's not really my thing, but... It's okay. I think men really should take care here. of their, like, toes, feet, do face and stuff like that. Mm. I mean, who, I'll move my feet away from you then. No, no, you're fine. I'm yeah. just saying you should, you know, you I don't should take touch care my feet. of yourself. Oh, well, I'm way in the feet. feet. Hey, pedicure. Yeah. got one yeah. more. Yeah, how is it? Oh, yeah. How we need to with this girl? You have hang-ups. You have few hang-ups. Yeah. About what? Yeah. I don't like people touching my toes. Like, while he was putting the bandage around the thing, he's like, just relax, just relax. I just don't like that. Like, I went with a girl one time in a casino to get a pedicure. Like, we were staying in the casino, went to the spa. And it just was like, Ew. I didn't like people touching my toes and nails and stuff. I say I like people touching me. I'm a very touchy person. Like, I need physical I'm going to say that it took me a long time to get pedicures because I thought it was so demeaning. Well, what if a girl put whipped cream on your toes and started licking it off? Oh, no, that's cool because that's all in good fun and crazy. <laughs> well, yeah. I it it, it was very demeaning and everything. It took a long but time. But let me go. When you do that thing at the... Uh, yeah. I don't like that at all. Because yeah. oh. it's ticklish? I'm very ticklish. Yeah, I'm ticklish too. Yeah, Janelle, mm -hmm. get get us uh, some LA guy to fly out for a five year Get a sponsor. Get a sponsor. Get a sponsor. Get a sponsor to send us to Miami. <laughs> That's a sponsor. That's a sponsor. <laughs> Michelle Carey. Uh, Why don't you bring the sponsor out? Wilma Kirby. I could bring this. I bring bring hey, listen. Bring you bring your sponsor. Yeah, and get him to both pop bottles at Lay Do. Wrestling. Maybe he needs to go to Lay Do. We, we give love. We bring give a, a sponsor. Love. Get him to pop bottles. I'll get him. You know. The I hot got a sponsor spot. too. It's called Allergan, and they sponsor Botox. So, I could, yeah. Alright. Work on that, you know. When you get your one phone call. Listen, we're not going to the Applebee's and Rancho Cucamonga. It'll be fun. Mm -hmm. America's Choice. Janelle calls a sponsor. Boom. Stop. Boom. Are you going to call your mom? Are you going to call your grandma Maria? Are you going to call Mom, I'm getting a case of Cristal Jack in the backyard. I have sponsors for myself. It Dude, I've got to get a sponsor. I'm pretty worldly. I've got to get a sponsor. I never thought about that. It's not for myself. It's for to give to my friends. Me too. I'll do the you know same what I thing. Mean? Do you ever go to New York and stay at Michael's hotels? Uh, well, I mean, one time we went to New York and um, he gave us his apartment. He wasn't there. Oh, okay. It was really nice. Look, could you imagine me leaving my condo to a group of girls that I don't know? Could you imagine that? They'd be like, it's he too has... fucking far from everything. Good point. <laughs> I meant with my cleanliness issues. Oh no! I yeah, think. nice. It was a penthouse. It was so cute issues? and so nice. It would be too small. Danielle doesn't understand because she thinks she lives next to the dirty bed guy. Yeah. She does not know. Dude, his apartment spotless. I don't even play that. Like, like he would not let me wear shoes in the apartment. Like really? put you the shoes, the shoes, the shoes. I'm like, what? Yeah. 
totally different than here. Like my life, my office. I didn't even recognize him when we left here the first time. Everything is super clean. My house, super clean. Like they call it the what did you guys call it? The show, the model. Oh, I call it uh, the museum. No, the model. It's the showcase, like the one that they're selling. Oh yeah, it's the uh, the model. Yeah, the model. But I also call it the museum because everything just has it's, its all place. in certain places and everything. Oh, I don't have anything. Like every, uh, it's like minimalist. My thing is more is less. There's nothing in less there. Is less more. is more. Bare. Less is more. Completely barren. He does have two eight foot bean bags though. Okay. But your bed is really good. When's though, your birthday, right? Will? January second. Oh, my bed is shittiest day to have a birthday, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Everyone's partied out. I'm not on the tent. My oh, bed game right. is strong. It's just a Yeah, because I figure you put a lot of money in your bed.